gonna hook up my older Yezu to the power supply. You just strip that, put it on the post. And then we've got the antenna, my favorite classic J-Pole, two meter 440 antenna here. And we're just gonna set this up and see if we hear something quickly. Okay, on the power guess, supply here. Can you guess what gauge that is? Uh, I should know and I don't. We found our old uh, Radio Shack connector. We've attached it to our wires, plugged into the unit. Next, we need to attach our antenna. So we're gonna use this and connect that. Go ahead and attach that to the antenna. Right there, push it in. Get that in. You got it. There we go. Good. So now we're Attaching the other end, the radio, screw it in nice and snug. Yeah, there we go, we, we've got it here, we screwed it in, both in our cable. That's how it looks. See, there we are, antenna. And then I'm gonna bring it underneath. Okay, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, it's set up on the desk. And we're just seeing if we can get some power on it. Put our power on here. Press in, turn this guy on. There we go, 13, so our squelch is pretty high. Whoa, we don't want to wake somebody. There we go, we turn the squelch down and put it, I've got a bunch of frequencies on here. 6-4, we should be able to reach. And, w yeah, see. AI4 CFS monitoring. See if I'm reaching the 64 repeater. This is CAI4 CFS, just checking a radio out. Anyone there? If you don't mind responding, if you hear me, just a real quick, I'm at a friend's house testing it out. I'm uh, looking forward to him getting his license so he'll be able to talk on it. He can at least listen. This is Martin CAI4 CFS. WD4IUI, is that correct? This is CAD4 CFS. I think we saw the draw line. I got the whiskey for all the other four. Uniform Yankee Day to day. I'm between, uh, actually, the first one, Roman, East of Rock, which you're coming in really good on here. Okay, excellent. Thanks so much. Sounds like we're getting in okay, and we've got uh, Astron uh, power supply he had already, and we've got a JPO antenna just sitting on the desk, and this is just the first test to see if we can open up the repeater. If you wouldn't mind giving that call sign one more time for me. Excellent, it's WB4IUY. Hope I got that correct. Yep, that's right. That's, that is correct. It's doing a good job. Uh, uh, has, he, has your friend already taken his test or is he in the process of working on that now? No, he's, he's, uh, he's got the book here and, and I'm. Uh, and I'm hoping he'll take the test at Jars Fest coming up, but I just wanted to set up so he could monitor. And he looked you up on QRZ somewhere uh, right now, which is excellent. So now, if you'll go back. That's cool, isn't it? So now he's looked up on QRZ. 
Excellent. Thanks so much for jumping in. Hold on. I'm going to let him to say hello while he's here. This is Kevin. Go ahead and say hi. Hey there. Nice to meet you. Great. Hey, thanks so much. This was great. Appreciate it. I'm going to sign for now. Uh, we've got a, a young and uh, sleeping in their house, another room. So we're keeping it low volume here, but this was fantastic. Thanks for saying hi on 6-4 and I uh, hope uh, you'll get to hear him in about a month on this radio. This is one of my older radios I'm loaning him. I'm, this is on a, um, a Yaesu FT7800 with a power supply that he has from a project he was using, audio project testing out. And then we've got the classic J-Pole, that great built like a tank aluminum J-Pole. I forgot who makes this thing, but we're just setting it on the table right now on low power to just see if we can get in. Cav 4 CFS. Great. Thanks so much. That was great fun. We, we uh, got to see you waving. Thanks so much for jumping in and you have a great day, CAF or CFS Clear. In review, what we've got here is the radio. We've got what it takes is we need a power supply giving a good solid about 13 volts, you know, uh, that's stable, hooked up. And ideally you want uh, we have a fuse in line with this, but it's really only on the positive. Ideally, in a radio, one a positive, negative, in case something uh, goes either way and we have it. But we're good. We're safe for this because it's a real safe power supply here. Cable, low-loss cable. It's short one, get a little bit longer one. And Welcome it's a, to the army. Turn that down. And uh, connected to this built like a tank J-pole. Now, what we don't want is this near uh, metal or other things because then it plays into the antenna, you know? So this is just a very quick demonstration of getting my friend set up so he can monitor a lit, little bit until he gets his license. As a new person on the radio, there are two things you need to learn is squelch. So you turn it, you know, see the hiss and stops. We're scanning right now. Turn it up and then our volume, of course. And so right now I have a bunch of local repeaters I put in. The other thing I wanna show is real simple, is the repeater. Remember, it's listening on one frequency. See that? When I uh, press to talk, KI4CFS. See, it then broadcasts on a different frequency. So the repeater's up there in a very high altitude and it's listening on that other frequency that's, that's they call it an offset, a standard offset. And so it's, and then it's broadcasting out over 14664. So it's listening at 146.040, 146.040 is what it's listening on and then it rebroadcast over 14664, CAD4, CFS. So because I used my call sign, that really ain't a problem in broadcasting that, mm -hmm. you know? But I wanted to demonstrate it as well. We're, we're good to go here. CAD4, CFS, clear.